Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we met up with Snow White in the... Wow, that music is really loud. Uh, we met up with Snow White with uh, director, well, acting director Crane uh, in his office after he found out of what happened to, you know, body left right in front of our front steps. So he left to deal with his own personal stuff his m massage appointment uh, while we tried to figure out who that uh, person was and through some investigation we found out it was a woman named Faith aka Donkey Skin which is a story I'd never heard of before actually but hey look at that that's the name of the chapter chapter 1 Faith and the lady's name well ex, ex woman is named Faith so we through the magic mirror we found out that her husband, Prince Lawrence, um, was just sitting in a chair with a knife covered in blood on the floor. And just as we were about to leave to go see him, Toad called and said there was someone upstairs going through the woodman, uh, the woodcutter stuff. So we have a choice on where to go. And again, trying to stay as meta free as possible. Uh, I decided to go with Toad first because that is an active threat. Uh, it's something that's going on right now. So we want to go see what's going on. So picking up right where we left off last time. Toad's part. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. Okay. Glass slipper I'm shoes. Not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Who'd want to wear glass slipper shoes? Talked about the most impractical type of shoe you can get. Woodman's apartment. And South we Box. ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah, it looks worse in the day. Yeah. Wow. Is somebody up there? Uh. Hey. Wait here. Any places he can hide. Shit. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. S O B B I N G. I don't even remember half of this shit. It was it was a pretty epic fight, I will say that. Holland doesn't make this much of a mess. What did that say? Pay up? Yeah, wow. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? You know what? That's a that's a pretty good fucking question. But then again, what kind of asshole throws someone else out the fucking window? Woodsman never did much reading anyway. Big hole in the wall. Nice car, Toad. He's gonna get it towed away. Ha 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 ha. Hilarious. Let's go downstairs. See what all the S O B B I N G is is all about. Take some initiative, Snow White. Like, fucking knock on the door. It's fine. Is that his son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Should we just barge it? Nah, let's, let's be nice. Hey, Toad. You in there? Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. 
It what? wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. Oh, plenty of reason. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. And just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. I have a seat. All you're doing. Have a cup of tea, whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups, am I right? Great, uh, great starter. Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Weevils. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? Plus the latch, eh? Too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sakes, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Though most people think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. You know, it's, it's, I haven't really talked much up until now about this whole situation, but it's funny, it's something to consider that, you know, Toad called us when, you know, as hesitant as, as he would be considering what happened last time he called us, um, as hesitant as he would have been, he did call us and say, someone's upstairs, like, get here now, and then he was shouting over the, over the call. And now he's like, oh, yeah, no, nothing's going on. Like, he's clearly... It's not just hiding something. He's obviously hiding something, but the question is why. That's the other thing you have to consider. The motive. Motive is always big. So we'll talk to him last. Let's stick. Let's take another look around. <gasps> is that blued? Looks like blued. It's just some wood rot, not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why? Is that... It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Here's a question. I actually don't know if I don't know if it would be true or not. Um, 
but do frogs have red blood? Do amphibians in general have red blood? Because from what I remember, you know, creatures that are warm-blooded and cold-blooded, uh, you know, different things are happening in their body, right? And I believe the color of the blood is different. I'm not entirely sure. If someone, uh, if, if anyone knows, like, let me know. I'd be curious to, to find out. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's, that's how it happened, didn't it? I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. but like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. It's been the hottest summer in years, Toad. So why would you... Oh, why'd I pick that one? Stay in this place for more than a spell and a drought so make you think uh, you're oh, a sort fuck. of tundra. Oh, look it up. So what's a fuss? I wanted to Our say, like... can dry out. No, mate. You're thinking of lizards. Yeah, he got me on that. I would... <sighs> he cut his hand, not his foot. I don't know why I chose that oh one. I'm a fucking God, idiot. you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. And I don't know why you cover for it. I know you're lying about something, but I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. So, generally, the reasons why people, or toes in this case, would lie, is either they're, um, they're trying to. The reasons that they would like try to hide something is generally because they're guilty of something or they're afraid of something. So which do you think it is? That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Broken lamp, lamp, lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Window. Let's look at the window. Huh? I love how he always just, like, scratches himself. It's like the most audible thing, too. Take a look at these marks. There's some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright tizzy, mate. As you was, was in a downright tizzy, <laughs> mate. I forgot the keys to this place, and I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. I know what to say here. The Broken Latch. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? I you wouldn't, need, wouldn't keys. need keys since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. 
You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby, there wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When I figure out what's going on here, Toad, you can help the process along, you know. Ow! How am I going to help the process along? I cut me end. I broke the lamp. No, I'm not going to threat them. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Oh. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What did you, tell, you him? tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, He'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Is it a donkey skin? The fur. Donkey skin coat? Fine bit of dress it is. Hides it in the... Wow, it is donkey skin. I'd actually forgotten that. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's a letter. It's an envelope. Or that too. Hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or? Uh. Don't make it a dilemma. I'm gonna open it. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Cute kid. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So the prince's now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. <laughs> uh 
Okay, and I'm actually going to call it here for this episode. Um, surprisingly, for a lot that went on uh, in, uh, in Toad's Place, like figuring out all that shit, we didn't really learn much. I mean, we learned that the Tweedle, the Tweedles, uh, either Dumb or D, whichever one it is, came looking for something. We don't know what it is. Um, and hurt, and like they threatened Toad uh, about it, which means they want something bad, which means they're not good people to begin with. Uh, we found, obviously, like the, the donkey skin coat and a letter saying, I'm sorry. So, what does it all mean? we'll find out in the coming episodes it's a it's a good it's a good little mystery all the little parts that you find in each location uh just kind of meld together it's it's i mean that's how mysteries work obviously but it's it's a really well done mystery you you even if you however you feel about like toad for example you think he's like fucking asshole or whatever you can tell his intentions are good like he still cares about his kid he's still well, I, I don't want to say he cares about everyone else, because, you know, he is an asshole, but he means well, for all intents and purposes. Anyways, um, that's, uh, as I said, that's it for this episode. We'll go to Prince Lawrence's apartment uh, in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.